Okay, so we're going to take a look at Far Cry 3's map editor, and it's, I must admit, you can do quite a lot, it's really quite impressive. So you access map editor by going to the multiplayer menu and then just clicking on map editor. Now this takes some time to load, so I'll just quickly skip through this. So when you get down to the menu, all you need to do is click on new map. And then you have to select your hard drive. So that obviously you can save it to your hard drive once you've finished. And really what you can do with map editor is really quite impressive. And obviously with the maps then you can use them with online multiplayer, which is really quite interesting that you can kind of customize your own maps. You know, you can kind of create your own spawns, add all these different kind of features, and then you can actually play them with your friends online. So this is the map I've just been generated. Um, and as you can see, they're not exactly small. They are really quite vast and uh, and basically what you do then this map's in the sky it's quite interesting isn't it? Hmm. ok so what you do then is you just click LB to, ex to enter the um, the toolbox and you can add different types of terrain tools roads uh, you can add map limits as well so obviously that's the map limit so people can't go out of that and um, let's just take a look at some of the train tools so you can use bump and basically what happens here is that it selects a area of the map and you can adjust the radius as well and basically look you can enlarge it or lower it like a little hole um, which is really quite interesting to be quite honest it's um, really interesting to play around with so you can just adjust the radius of the um, size of the you know the circle as well which you're going to adjust and then you can just raise it out of the ground like so and create these kind of big mounds which is pretty cool but uh, that's not just it there's also loads of other things you can adjust including um, uh, objects as well so you can add new objects uh, you can add you know buildings like little houses or bridges Like that, you can add little greenhouses, and there's so much that you can customize on this. It's really quite impressive, actually, to be quite honest. Um, um, so the you kind of have to abide by the rules, I suppose. If you look here, that's called validation, and um, you have to tick all these little boxes and then the map can be used for um, the, you know, certain game mode like Domination, Team Deathmatch, uh, Transmission or Firestorm. And it's fairly easy to set up. You just go into your um, objects, add new objects, and then you can change the gameplay mode. So, uh, I want to do Team Deathmatch. And then you can kind of set all the spawn points. So you have to set a ton of blue spawn points. So you can just put them anywhere really. And then you need to set some red spawn points. So I say red can spawn up here. On this mound here. Ah, get the high ground there to have some advantage. And then you can have some shared spawn points. You know, quite far away from each other. I know there's some in the middle there, but And then that's pretty much it. I mean there's so much more that you can add though. So I mean you can add like towns, town buildings in. Make make yourself little towns in the in the map. Uh, temples. Which is all really, really cool to be quite honest. I think this is a really cool feature. Especially as you can play it with your friends as well. Which is really quite cool. I can't get that out of this, can't get this out of the ground. And obviously, of course, you can always rotate the objects as well, which is fairly easy, just by um, holding down the right, the left trigger, sorry. But yeah, there's a ton of stuff you can do. And it's just a great little feature. So, um... I hope this has been useful. I mean, there's so much stuff you can add. I mean, you've got cages, bridges, corpses, crates, debris fences, fire camps, and then there's all kind of different stuff like household items and 
There's just so much you can do and customize. You could really come up with some really cool maps on this map editor. And I mean, it, in all honesty, it is <laughs> it is a really cool feature. I mean, you can and then what you can do as well, you can test the map. So you can go to the menu, click test map, and it puts you into the map you've just created, which is kind of surreal. Um, but there it is. Look, there's my map with my weird building on the side of a mound there. And as you can see, the maps are actually huge. I mean, you are building large-scale buildings. You're not just building a small map. You are building a huge map. And I mean, that is pretty cool, right? And you can play it, and you can play it online with your friends. And that's just, to me, that's just awesome. Um, I think this is a really cool feature by Ubisoft um, and Far Cry. But, um, yes, yeah, so I hope this video has been kind of useful. I um, uh, hope maybe, you know, it's helped you make your maps and have some fun online or whatever oh fall over so yeah thanks for watching that's the map editor um there's tons of stuff to do i mean it would take ages if i wanted to go through every single feature so really just get on it yourself take a look at what you can do and as i said there's so much you can customize and it can make some really cool maps to play with your friends so yeah that's basically it that's the map editor uh thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in some more videos bye bye